Project Doom 7, and this is concept for episode 1. The children followed Mr. Wonka to the decision room, the room filled with posters of great achievements Mr. Wonka has done, like the everlasting gobsoppers, Wonka bards, nerds, Laffy Taffy, and even pixie sticks, and as the children looked in amazement. All right, everyone. Here is the decision room. This room has brought the best ideas, and it is the starting point of creating a new product. I will be challenge you all to help me with the decisions to make the product. It's called Nerd's Rope, and it's a combination of chewy candy and by our already beloved nerds in the form of a string like. The rope on the inside has a very chewy and gooey center, very similar to the texture of Twizzlers or Red Vines. Can anyone tell me why we're making nerds rope? Thank you, Augustus. Let's hear what you have to say. It's to make more candy and to sell it and eat it. It's like a delicious chocolate. More candy means more money. And more money means more stuff you can buy. Well, not really. And what do you have to say about it, Charlie? What do you think? Is it because you saw the opportunity cr to create a new idea and bring new candy to the chewy yet crunchy market like Twizzlers with a twist? Ah, that's a great answer, Charlie. Yes, I'm trying to change the Twizzlers and the Red Vines to a more fun candy that has an enjoyment out of Twizzlers and adding the pop to the crunch of nerds. Um, see, Augustus, you shouldn't be only thinking about making more products to make more money to buy more things, like your candy bars, that you like so very much, as we can all tell. Making a new product takes more thinking and decision-making than that. We have tried other candies that don't quite work out, and if we make too many bad products, then we would fall as a company. We looked at other alternatives, like creating candy just like Twizzlers or red vines, but there was no fun in that. There was no new idea. I see you have something to say, Violet. What if people don't like it? What if people don't like it? Then what, Mr. Wonka? Well, little girl, we have taken a look at the alternative products, and after taste testing and discussion with multiple focus groups, this is what we came up with. Pretty neat, huh? It just looks like some silly Twizzlers with some sprinkles on it. It doesn't look that important or even that good. Violet, you seem to never listen to what I am saying. I've been doing this for a long time, and we know that it takes time to decide a new product. You're just a little girl who doesn't even listen. We've done the marketing research on this product, and it will be one of the greats. I can s see what you're trying to do with playing devil's advocate, but your hot-headedness is just making you look like a fool. Here, if you don't believe me, try it. As she ate the chewy, crunchy candy, her eyes opened wide and a smile with joy began to gleam across her face. And Charlie then looked curious and asked, Mr. Wonka, seems it's like everything is coming together and is pretty much complete. So what's the next plan? Good question, Charlie. Since we see that the candy will be a success, it's now time to implement distribution and marketing phases. We are now going to produce the product on a large scale and advertise it to the world. Then we'll see if the candy does well and assess the results. And if it does, we'll continue on marketing and producing the product. And by the looks of it here, I don't think we have to worry about the alternative. Mr. Wonka noticed Charlie's great answer from the earlier question, and even Charlie's good questioning, and his overall interest in the company's decision-making when it comes to making a product. He did also notice Augustus, who only thinks about money, and in this case chocolate bars as well, and Violet, who doesn't even listen to key details, like how much time and effort it does take to create a product, and how much research is done to make sure that product is a success. Knowing how the decision-making is done in a company is very important to Mr. Wonka when choosing his next successor. He wants to make sure he chooses someone who will listen and realize what would be best for the company. The point that Mr. Wonka is trying to make to these kids is there's a lot of time and effort when it comes to making a large decision like creating a product, and there is a lot of money well spent into making sure that that product is successful. 